This type of probability question is very common both in GCSE maths and in life. All the time you're going to need this skill of calculating probabilities. So in this question there's a box with three different types of chocolate. You've got six plain, eight milk, ten white. And this guy is going to pick one at random from the box. Write down the probability that Ben takes a plain chocolate. Our probabilities have a total at the bottom and they have a specific choice at the top. So what's our choice here? What's he picking? He's picking plain chocolate. So let's call it six because there are six plain chocolates is his choice. So basically what I'm trying to say is there are six chocolates in the bag and how many total chocolates are there in the, in the box actually? There are six plus eight plus 10. So we're gonna write that total at the bottom. So six plus eight plus 10 is actually 24. So the probability would be six out of 24. Now we could simplify that if we want. So six over 24, we could divide top and bottom by six and we would get one over four. So a quarter chance. But the key thing I want you to remember is that to do a probability, we're going to do the choice over the total. Okay, as a bonus round, let's do part B, which is it says Dion takes two chocolates from the box. Write down all the possible combinations of types of chocolate that Dion can take. So you might have seen this question and wonder what they're talking about. Write down all the possible combinations of types of chocolate that he can take. Now the key thing here when you're writing down a list of combinations, and this is again useful in life as well, is be very systematic with the combinations that you're writing down. Don't just randomly pick, okay, so milk and white, plain and milk, otherwise you'll get lost. So watch how I'm going to do it systematically. First, let's start with plain. So with plain, we could have plain and then we could have plain again, couldn't we? So that's one combination. Now we could have plain and then white, for example. And notice I'm going through the combinations with plain. I could have plain and then milk. And I've gone through all the different combinations with the first one, with plain. Okay. But now when I get to the second one, milk, there aren't quite as many combinations. Watch this. So we've got milk and then white, milk, because remember I'm going to go through systematically, do every single one with milk now. So that was the plain row. This is the milk row. Milk and then milk. Now I know what you're thinking. Let's write down milk and then plain. And I would have thought to do that, potentially. But they're just saying the different combinations of types. So we've already counted uh, plain and milk up here. So we're not going to write down plain and milk again by writing milk and then plain. Okay, because this is a, like a combinations question. Okay, so what's the only one left now? So we've done the plain row, done the milk row. Now let's do the white row. So the only thing that's left is white and then white. Because if you think about it, white and milk is done up here and white and plain is done up here. So we've only got white and white left. And that's a very systematic way to do it. Do it chocolate by chocolate. Start with the first option, do all the others. Then go to the second option and do all the others from there, not including the first one, etc. The key lesson to take from today is about probabilities and that is to do the choice divided by the total.